We're back with more to catch a predator. Chris Hans is going to ask him to take a seat and then take him to jail, hopefully forever. Case him. What can dream? So it's Lewis Roisman. Took a bus, a cab, and here he is. The dude's running in, too. He paid his cab and is like, see you later. <laughs> Dude. This man traveled more than five hours to visit a girl oh he's God, never run. met before. Five hours. He's, <laughs> wow, boy. He's just busting at the seams. He's ready to try to bust. Oh, but he's gonna, they're going to bust him and send him to jail. He started chatting online with her just last night. Then he took a bus wow. and a cab to wow. get here. He thinks the girl he's meeting is 13. So glad you That's overnight? Dude is took a five hours in Uber? there, man. He just can't wait. Uh, no, no, he got me. No, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the game. Dang it. Predator wins. See, I made some frozen lemonade. Very cool. Yeah, you like lemonade? I do. Whoa, there. Is that anyone else? Some kind of like lemonade? The last guy that we've seen, he, he did. Oh, yeah. Aunt texted me, said he was home. Yeah. That's yeah. why I've been holding. <laughs> she said she's been good. She's been holding it. <laughs> <laughs> He's Joseph Roisman, a military man currently enlisted in the Navy. Oh, he made that. He made that move towards her. You know, he came came a little closer. He did. So he's a military man. That's why he Ooh. was hurrying, man. You know what I'm saying? He's in shape, you know? He's, he's got to stay moving. <laughs> he's he's got to get back. He can make the barracks so they know he's gone. What girl wants to give oral sex when a man isn't shaved? The decoy says, I know I don't. And he responds, well, you won't have to worry then. Oh, well, hot dog then, I guess. Ugh. Boy is slicker than a seal and ready to party. I want to change my suit. I don't have a suit, though. That's okay. You don't really need one. Yeah. yeah, jump in. It's really warm. I printed it Yeah, yeah, jump in. Now. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Wow. I, I love the ones where they get the dude. To... He's hype, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go. Sweet, bro. Sweet. <laughs> Let me get in there. Yeah. Like Chris is going to come out and is like, I want to go do nothing. I was just here to check on her, make sure that she wasn't actually going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Tase him. He goes in search of the decoy. Instead, he finds me. Keep your hands on your pockets for me. All right. Okay. Now I want you to go sit down over on the other side of the bar, please. What? He started flexing on him. Yeah, he like, did a little bit. He's like, who are you, dude? <laughs> Bro, he won't flex on you. What, you're your dad or something, boy? You know you're messing with? What was your plan? I don't know. Talk. <laughs> it's always, oh, yeah. Talk. Yeah. Can't talk online enough. I had to travel five hours, get ready to, you know, I was ready to, I was ready to get down. Dude. Naked and jump in the jump in the inflatable pole you guys got. Ain't no telling what's in that backpack either, dude. This is overnight clothes. I, I bet you he's got like a pair of he's, he's got like one change of clothes in there probably. So that's fine as long as I don't you know cross that line. But she, you talked about having sex with her in the chat. We did discuss oral sex, but oh, he's ever well spoken. He's like, we did discuss that. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. We did. We talked about it. No, you have everything there? God dang it. All right. I want to wrestle you so freaking bad. Wrestle me. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. <laughs> wow. Honest mistake. You know, whoops. My bad. A little, <laughs> just a little confusion on what was going on. It could happen to anyone, right, Chris? You know, come on. <laughs> it's bad, Chris. He just likes wrestling. This is my first time doing this. First time. First time. If she would have let you, you would have had sex with a girl. With her, no. No, of course not. With her? Not, not that. What? No, not that. No, one. After I saw her? No, Chris. No. No, please, I have standards. Catfish me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that it's illegal to solicit someone who's underage online for sex. Yes. No. Oh, yeah, you know, he, yeah. I know it's illegal, and I can understand why you're here. Yeah, why are you here, dude? To hang out? Mm hmm. Oh. Well, there's something you got to know. And that is, I'm Chris Hansen with Daylight. Ooh, this is uh, actually, we're like two minutes into this 10 minute video. It must be like all the aftermath stuff that, that's taking up the rest of the video. This is like a very quick interview. He's like, yeah. hey, what are you doing? You know, this is illegal, right? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm Chris Hansen. Bring the cameras out. No, there's nothing else for me to say. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shake his hand. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the screen time, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's going to help my career after the military. Uh. Let me shake your hand. Police department, hands up. Come out, come out, 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 out,
They, they, they were a little confused. He was a little confused. Oh. Too much confusion. Get tased. So close. One day, so Nate will get another one that gets tased. I, dude, I, it'll be like the third one. <laughs> I, I think we've seen like three dudes in total get tased so far, but still. What can dream? Did you know this no. girl was 13 when you first started talking to her? Yes. Did you guys talk about the possibility of her giving her whenever you... I mentioned oral sex, yes. Yeah. Wow, this guy's straightforward. Yep. I guess that's why Chris was like done with him. He's like, oh, well, that's all I need. <laughs> like, cool, all right, well, off to jail with you. Finally, he admits... Yes, I, I would have. I would have liked to. Yes, nothing more. There were a total of three. <sighs> Cracked under the pressure, I guess. Like, oh yeah. You know what? Actually, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna ruin that child's life. My bad. I mean, I'd rather. I'd rather them just like fess up to it, you know, than beat around the bush. So that way, they can just oh, do what they need jail. to do. Lock them up for a uh, while. Well, you say go to jail. Put them. Put them right. on probation for. <laughs> Put them on a list, I guess. You yeah. know. There were a total of three military men caught in this investigation. Mm, three military men on that one, right? Let's see. Joseph Lewis or Rosman was arrested during the sting in 2006. Uh, let's see. He was found not guilty in 2011 when the judge ruled midway through the trial. Prosecutors failed to prove Rosman had specific intent to commit an attempt to loot X with a child at the age of 14. How? That's a great question. They How? couldn't use any of that footage or something? They the transcripts? Prove he had specific intent? Yes, uh, I would have I would have liked to yes. After the whole conversation him showing up? Oh my gosh. Wow. Driving it's five hours or riding five hours or whatever. Right. So, okay. His parents vowed to sue NBC for more than $100,000 they had spent defending their son against the charges and derided the sting as a huge waste of taxpayers' money. Huh. Are you serious? Wow. That's crazy. They think it's, they think catching predators is a waste of money. And imagine Imagine, saving children's <laughs> lives is just a big waste of money. On January 11th, 2013, he was arrested after a 50-year-old woman said he exposed himself to her, then committed an unwanted sexual advance. No. So he flipped. Oh, my God. Now the what parents a... are over there, like, they're, they're giving their statement. My boy would never do anything like that. He's, he's a good boy. And then, like, what was that, like... A year, two years later, I, he's yeah, flipped to the other side. Now it's like a 50-year-old lady. On January 15th, uh, on 2003, he pled not guilty to charges of assault to commit rape and indecent exposure. Oh, yeah, not guilty. What happened then? He was uh, May 14th, 2013, he was arrested for possession of a stolen vehicle and possession of controlled substance paraphernalia. He, oh, my God. Oh, my boy would never. He would never. He would never. Mm -mm. He's got a neck tattoo that says trouble. Trouble. Are you... Are, <laughs> You know what? Wasting a hundred thousand dollars defending the, all this is a big waste of anyone's yeah. money. You know what I mean? Like we got some rich parents or something. Yeah. What's going on? So and and half we're like this is halfway through this, and they start cutting to news, uh, some news or maybe this is just like some more information. First of all, forget this justice system and forget this judge. Release that perv to a group of mothers, and we'll take care of him. <laughs> Fox News is mad about it. Yo, <laughs> release him to Dap. Let Dap have him. <laughs> let, let Dap Dap him up. He said, "Oh, don't worry. My private parts are shaven, so you won't get hair in your mouth." Um. Um. By the way, how old was the last person you had sex with? Yeah, I can't. I can't believe. I, I don't understand. There's, how could the prosecution not prove anything? Right. That is just nuts. I agree that the allegations here are gross, but let's remember there was no 13-year-old girl. The 13-year-old oh. girl was actually but an he adult thought there decoy. Was. Oh, we got the we got the other side of it. There there was this is entrapment or whatever. This there was no 13-year-old girl. Okay. Oh god. But what mm. there was a decoy <laughs> there who he tried was, to advance on. It was pretending, you know, that he believed there was. Right. He thought she was 13. Yeah, so that's like, oh, that, um, that defense. So, well, it wasn't actually one, so it's not illegal. Jeez. The what? I don't care. <laughs> okay, does that work? Can a cop, like, ask if you want to buy some drugs and, like, sell you fake drugs and arrest you or something? Does, <laughs> does that work? I don't know. Or if you walk up and you buy, <laughs> you're attempting to buy drugs, but you buy, like, some salt or something, and you're just like, bro, <laughs> hey. you can't arrest me. I just bought a not, bag of salt. Not real drugs, man. you know. <laughs> 
getting somebody to commit a crime that they had no predisposition to do, and that because he was chatting online with an adult, that he was essentially entrapped. It doesn't feel boo. like like just boo. He didn't have any predisposition to do it then, but okay. Yeah, well, well you know, he, maybe the opportunity later, presented itself, right? Yeah, you got to start yeah, somewhere, like, I guess. You know, what I mean? it's like, it's like when, when you're they're on a, a chat talking to somebody, and then and the opportunity arises, and then you drive, you ride Travel for five, five hours. hours. Yeah, and it's like, well, he never did it before, so. Not illegal. The jurors, they felt bad for him. His life had been ruined, and they really thought that uh, this that this perverted justice that NBC partners with on this mm -hmm. had overstepped its bounds. That does speak well. That speaks volumes. The, the, ju the jurors were even on on the guy's side, apparently, which is just crazy. It speaks it's volumes so, for how it's so nuts, dude. Awful like, our I society don't... is like it's, that. Sounds yeah. brain dead to me. This man's life was ruined. What about a thirteen-year-old girl? If it was an actual thirteen-year-old girl. Thank God it, it was a decoy. So it's not illegal. <laughs> ah. It's one thing to catch a predator. It's another thing to concoct one. And they essentially created this crime. And he was it's their fault. Oh, they created. Serious? They created him. They made him travel <laughs> five hours <laughs> to meet a 13-year-old. They oh made him goodness. a criminal. I gotta oh. look at the dude's wiki. What, what was his name? Where did we find him? I mean, the, okay, so right here, this is what I was wondering about. The, the Navy conducted a separate investigation, and based on their findings, he was dishonorably discharged. The Navy was like, no, brah, get out of here. We're yeah. not dealing with you. But the judge is like, ah, man, NBC created this and ruined his life. How dare they? Yeah, oh, gross. my God. At least the Navy has a, I mean, he didn't, they well, didn't put if, him like, if the jail themselves, are, but. Yeah, right. And if the parents are paying $100,000 to lawyers, you know what I'm saying? Who, who knows how much, uh, who, who knows how much money they got, you know, they could just throw around anywhere to make anyone comfortable like a judge or something. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man, it, say, it says in here from 2013 to 2014, he'd been booked in Santa Cruz jail seven times. Wow. The dude just keeps going to jail. NBC must be freaking out there just watching him. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. They got to be still setting him up. Uh, it talks about uh, during this time, during the sting, that uh, To Catch a Predator is receiving a lot of criticism from law enforcement for focusing too much on entertainment. I guess. I guess sure. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe they were too many people in power were getting nervous. Uh, but anyway, yeah. This says that he actually pled guilty to lesser counts involving the 50-year-old woman but was not required to register as a sex offender. And that Hanson also wanted to reach out to Roisman to talk to him and confirm that he was still fighting charges to the other crimes he's committed since the sting. And this is a 2022 update. Yeah, he's out there just doing his thing, I guess. His alleged crimes. He's a good dude, though. Good dude. Yeah. Just trouble. <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys very much for watching that. I hope you hate it as much as I did. But if today's your birthday, happy birthday. So toast my friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.